attention to the second clue. You'll sleep sounder when you found it. That's it. <laughs> That's the second clue, darling. I'm afraid it's not very original, but you see, I was a little pressed for time. You see, I had to break into Sonny's house and put incriminating DVDs in all sorts of places. Very difficult. And I hope I did a thorough job, and it would be a tragedy if it fell into the wrong hands. I mean, tragic for you. Because of your involvement in little Michael's shooting, I mean, it's of no consequence to me, because I'll either be dead or long gone. So, you have your second clue, and my best wishes. So I'll see you. Uh, or maybe I won't. Best wishes, and sleep well, my darling. I'm here to see Sunny. Who the hell told you you could come barging into my house? those curtains claudia i picked them out this couch my choice too this house is more mine than it will ever be yours sunny you should mention that i just got off the phone with the salvation army they're coming to pick up the drapes i made plans to redecorate i'm sunny's wife so i can do that deal with it did you clear it with sunny he's pretty <coughs> finicky about how his house is decorated and i doubt he has any faith whatsoever in your well, your doubts are just really not my problem, and Sonny's not here, so get out. You don't get to tell me what to do. So why don't you go back to playing on your computer or whatever you were doing that why made you so... Why don't you get dramatic. out, or I'm going to have somebody throw you out. If you think that Max or Milo will lay a hand on me, you're more deluded than I thought. I'm Sonny's wife now, and you're choking on it, aren't you? I'm just going to sit here. On the couch I picked out. Are you sure you want to do it like this? Wouldn't it be better for us to coexist? I'm just here to talk to Sunny. If you have a problem with that, that's your business. Okay, so obviously it's true what they say. You can't stand the idea of Sunny with another woman. Sonny gained access to my family's business when he married me, and there's no way in hell he's going to give that up, Carly. We'll see. I know what you're doing. You're trying to drive a wedge between me and Sonny. You think if you can just convince him to back out of his deal with the Zakaras, Sonny will end up with no power at all. And your little Jason will end up on top. It's obvious where your loyalties lie. You're all about Jason. This has nothing to do with Jason. Oh, come on. It has everything to do with Jason. You manipulated Jason into taking over so you could punish Sonny for what happened to Michael. Don't bring my kid into this. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure it out, Carly. Your game? Come on, you've backed Jason since he took over. Sonny found a way around you, though. He aligned himself with Zakars, and now he has more power than Jason. Is that what you think? Yeah. Sonny's in a position to take your good friend Jason down, and you're running around panicked trying to stop that from happening. I made a conscious decision to stay out of it. But if you wanted to change my mind, you're doing a hell of a job. I married you to gain access to the Zakar muscle. Yeah, and now that he has it, he's not giving it up. Don't be so sure. Sonny would never be able to hurt Jason. You underestimate him. No, I know Sonny. I know him. He's ambitious, yes. But he knows he can only push Jason so far. Sonny will eliminate Jason. You made that inevitable when you forced them to choose sides against each other. You tore them apart. You pushed Sonny away. You shut him out. You practically pushed him right into my arms. So Carly, blame me all you want. You're the reason those men are enemies. Why don't you warn Sonny that I'm no good for him? I'd love to see his reaction. You're the one who underestimates Sonny. He knows who's truly loyal to him. He respects people who live by a code, and you don't. That yeah, doesn't matter. You're out of his life now, Carly. And you're not getting back in. This has been an enlightening conversation. You've managed to convince me that you were dangerous to Sonny's well-being and probably his life. Now I just need to figure out a way to get rid of you. Mm-hmm. Thank you.